on the line. Please remain on the line. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, this is Dan Anderson in our Oxford office, wishing you a great welcome to our weekly webinar. Now, um, I see that we have people from um, all over the world as per normal, uh, which is always very gratifying for me to see uh, running this multicultural global business of ours. Uh, so, uh, very, very much a welcome to you. Now, we have a number of things that I want to go through with you. Uh, general update and our DMS, uh, Digital Marketing Service, uh, Leo Gold News, Product Events and Timeline. Uh, in terms of the general update, uh, we had the joys last week of going into the um, High Court in London and fighting an ongoing legal case. So it's a kind of a procedural uh, step where we argued about jurisdiction for, for a case against a German entity. And um, I'm very, very pleased to be able to say to you that the judge found it in our favor and awarded us costs. So the other side that we were fighting with have the joy of paying just shy of £200,000 for their legal case that they brought to us. Uh, and, and again, the judge found in our favor. I know that there's a lot of uh, misinformation being spread in the market at the moment uh, from uh, people who were previously uh, part of the Leo business and who are now for their own purposes and, and, and for their own objectives, uh, spreading information about Leo. We're very pleased with how things are going from a legal perspective. Uh, we have full control of the company. That's not likely to change uh, anytime soon. And um, we're just going forward for uh, fighting for what is right and what is correct. And, and what we know is that the truth will always beat out over uh, people who are trying for their own gain to spread misinformation. Now, uh, in terms of our digital marketing service, uh, the, uh, as you understand, this is for our Leo members of bronze rank or higher, so it's an internal product. Uh, and this is rental of mining power for some 12 months where you can earn Bitcoin. And we're adding Ethereum to that uh, mix later on. And there'll be something that you can choose uh, for yourself what rewards you want. Uh, paid monthly at the end of each month and all costs are included. So it's a very easy in to uh, participate in the digital currency revolution that's going on. If, you've been, if you follow Bitcoin in any way, shape or form, you know that in the last seven, ten days, it peaked at something like 7,800 US dollars. Uh, it's gone down and kind of it took a little bit of a tumble. There was a bit of a, a Bitcoin war thing going on with Bitcoin Cash. Uh, and the price actually dropped down to something like 5,800. Uh, just picked up again and is now uh, up towards uh, $6,500. But it's going up and down in real time by several hundred dollars, uh, which is extraordinary and newsworthy, which means that uh, digital currency and Bitcoin is now starting to pass the tip of the tongue test. In, in other words, if you speak to anyone about Bitcoin, from your taxi driver through to your, to your, to your uh, people that you work with, they all know a little bit about it. They're all kind of interested in it, but they don't know how to participate. So for us... If we can uh, educate them about Leo, get them involved as a member, uh, get them up to the bronze level and, and, and then offer them this service, this is a great uh, thing for you to have a very interesting story to speak to people about. And, and for us, uh, there's never been a better timing for this. Now, it's, it's basically a great value proposition of all into something that people are interested in, uh, something that is of our time, something that patently and, and obviously is a transparent and, and real service. Uh, so therefore, we think that this is just an absolutely huge, huge concept. Now, we make for our members available, uh, uh, all the information is available for you online, and so the full description of the service, terms and conditions, the videos, etc. But bear in mind that we have to do this in tranches. And so right at the moment now, we're compiling the hardware for the first tranche and if you want to be participating in that as we roll that service out in january next year uh, you need to uh, move now and uh, so before the 14th of november this wednesday uh, that service will start on the first of february if you buy after the 14th uh, then it might not be until march and depending on how it goes because there's kind of a little bit of a uh, a war going on for hardware as well i saw uh, some press releases just uh, in the last 24 hours where people have apologized for buying too much mining cards or, or graphics cards rather um, and and so the mining space 
is having a huge in impact on the hardware supply of all of these things. We, we've placed orders now for mining rigs and, and components for the mining rig service that we do. Uh, and we placed the orders for these in, in August and are only just getting delivery of them uh, even as we speak. So there, there is a time lag and a time delay on this. And it would be the same if you were buying a, a, a mining service from the latest mining service from one of the manufacturers. If you were buying the hardware, it would take you two to three to four months to get the hardware. And this is what we're up against. So if you want to be participating in the first tranche, you need to move now uh, and get your people to move before the 14th of November. So there is there is a bit of a deadline and there is a bit of a, uh, a crisis to participate in that. We'll, we'll try to do the best we can to not have delays on, on, on the 15th of November onwards. But we can guarantee that if you place an order before the 14th, uh, you will be playing in the first tranche. Uh, Leo Gold is going very, very well. We are uh, just ready now. Uh, all the marketing collateral, the training materials, uh, all of the back office, all of the stuff that goes with this uh, revolutionary new service is ready from our side. We're just waiting for the final confirmation from a couple of things from our suppliers and, and people are out there. Uh, so uh, we were hoping to have the news to, to reveal to you today, but cannot. It will have to be next week or the week after. But this project, uh, the first project of Leo Banking, uh, is almost there. And, and we are waiting every day for, for the final uh, uh, toe that, that, that crosses that line, if you like, for, for the actual final complete launch of this. And um, you know, we were presenting this uh, all over the world in, in different places. And, and to say that people buy this story is, is, an, is, is an understatement. Uh, and uh, our, our Andy Hansen, our consultant who does training for us, was in the um, Hong Kong office, and I'll show you some pictures later on, and, and that how excited they were about this is hard to even capture on this PowerPoint. So, um, very, very pleased to also be showing you a couple of pictures here from our launch of the Dubai Sales and Marketing Office. Uh, here we, we decided that Dubai market itself now needs to be uh, expanded on because it's got so many expatriates that are working in Dubai with contacts all over the world. Uh, so building a sales office in Dubai is very, very kind of of the time at the moment for us. Uh, so I was there, we opened up, as you can see in the pictures, it's a very, very cool office. It's got a fantastic position in the center of Dubai. And uh, we had people from 12 different countries there helping us launch uh, this office and cut the ribbon, if you like. And uh, you can book this for yourself if you, if you are in Dubai, if you have people in Dubai. This office is for you to use. This is a member's office, if you like. Uh, where you can do presentations, you can do trainings, you can work with the team there directly. Uh, Waka Sohail, our general manager, is often, often, often in this office. Uh, so he'll be available to help you, uh, you to help you with the prospects and what have you. So this is a, a new initiative for us to set up a sales office dedicated to our members to help them build their business. And when this is successful in Dubai, uh, we will see how we can scale this up and, and do this all over the place. Uh, we've got some very, very funky ideas for how we can actually get you into bricks and mortar, as well as on a virtual business, on, on our internet back office, a backbone, if you like, uh, to be able to do your business in, in, in physical bricks and mortar and, and prestigious offices all around the world. So we're working on different concepts there. Now, I'm going to ask me here to come in here and, and make some comments about some of our PR activities, uh, because um, there was an article that we put out on um, Huffington Post, uh, penned by me, where I'm talking about uh, UK government and uh, and all of this, but me here, tell me a little bit more about this sort of stuff here, because I don't want to sing my own praises. Hi everybody, uh, delighted to be joining you today. Great to see, wow, gosh, great to see so many of you you on the call today. Um, so this is just part of the work of the Leo Coin Foundation. It's part of what we're doing to play our proper role in the digital currency industry. As we know, the number of members we have, our growing market, people hearing about Leo Coin and digital currency all over the world, and especially with the new digital uh, market service, we are reaching into more and more people who are hearing about digital currency for the first time. Now, this gives the Leo Coin Foundation, this gives us a particular responsibility. We have to play our role in the sector, we have to play our role in the industry, and really speak up about what we think the world should look like, really speak up about our concerns, our ideas about the future of this sector. Because we're still in the early days of digital currency. We're still working out what it's for. We're still understanding the blockchain. No one in the world quite knows where this journey will end up. But what we need to do is to make sure that our view is taken into account. 
And so that's what these articles are about. They're about pushing the Leo coin and Leo view forward. And if you um, think about some other meetings that we've had recently this week, we've uh, been speaking to MPs, members of the House of Lords, talking some more about not just Leo coin, but digital currency generally. And you can see some of the pictures there. And what they were really excited about was our understanding how we as this company based in Oxfordshire is doing business all over the world as a worldwide community. And they were so excited to hear more about that. And some of them were very, very interested in the anonymity technology, in the stealth technology of the new LeoCoin wallets, really understanding that this is a new world, that this is something that no one in the world has done before with digital currency, and that in Leo and in LeoCoin, we have something truly unique. So that's what the foundation is doing in the last couple of weeks. We've got an incredible event and meeting organized for later in this week, and uh, we look forward to talking to you about that some more after Thursday. But uh, until then, We'll keep it secret. And who are these other people that you've met here? Um, so um, I think what, one of the people there is a woman called Chi Onwura, mm -hmm. who is a member of parliament in the UK. And she is on the all-party group for financial technology. So it's really her job and her committee's job to organize the future of regulation and to talk about what fintech, financial technology, is going to be like in the future. And we want to make sure two things. We want to make sure that they don't forget about digital currency and the blockchain as part of the fintech revolution. And that, as you can see there, she's holding a Leo Coin white paper, that the views of Leo and Leo Coin Foundation are taken into account. The other man is a member of the House of Lords called Toby Harris. And about 10 years ago, he was one of the chief advisors to Tony Blair, who was then the Prime Minister of the UK. And he's very passionate about innovation. He's passionate about... Uh, the internet and communications and so he and I had a great conversation about the private communication aspect of the LeoCoin wallet. This is again the people are recognizing something that no one else in the world has done before and they're very keen to understand more and he was very familiar with our white paper when we went, when we went into the meeting and he was delighted to find out more when we met him. So that was last week and look forward to next week we'll have some even more exciting uh, news to share. And in, in the context of Leo Coin and, and Leo Coin Price, we know that our members all they, they want this price to go up, they want the price to go up, they want the price to go up. But what we're seeing is, is incredible volumes at the moment, aren't we? The volumes we're seeing are higher than they've ever been for our coin. We're doing something like well, we're doing over a million dollars of volume a day, which puts us very, very high in the rankings if you're looking at how much volume is traded on a particular coin. And lots of this is in China, lots of this is in Europe. We're seeing some Russian volume even some volume in, uh, a lot of volume coming out of Canada and America as well on some exchanges. What's really great about volume is that's the thing that gives you a real coin. There's no point having a coin that's worth a million pounds if no one in the world is going to buy it. It means it's not really worth that. As soon as you have volume, as soon as you have a million dollars a day, two million dollars a day, even half a million dollars a day, more and more people start to look at your coin, more and more people get excited about your coin because they know but if they ever wanted to sell, if they ever wanted to buy more, there's always a market out there for them. There's always enough volume to carry whatever it is they want to do with the coin. And that's really important because without high volume, coins, don't exist. Are, yeah, they don't really exist. They're toys. But it's really encouraging to see Leo Coin breaking records with its latest volume and going to higher than ever before. And we're adding a huge new exchange in the next few days, maybe a week that we can update you on on the call next Monday. No, no, when you say a huge exchange, you mean a huge exchange. I mean one of the 10 big, it's in the top 10 biggest exchanges in the world. They'll be adding LeoCoin within the next seven days. Maybe eight days, don't hold me to that. But we'll see next week, and hopefully, and I'm sure it will, that will drive up certainly volume even more, which again gives LeoCoin all the credibility it needs, which gives our coin all of the interest it needs, so that more and more purchasers, more and more people interested in acquiring digital currency feel secure and safe and that can only have a good impact on the price and are you still seeing uh, scam coins out there that have extended launches and sort of only an internal market and a guaranteed price rise da -da 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 -da. Yeah. i mean yeah as always our members are now well trained in understanding the difference between what's a scam and what's real but even then people are still trying it on you'd think that the world had moved on by now but some people are stuck in 2012, 2014, and just can't understand that trying to scam people with digital currency is not just um, 
it's not just um, an awful thing for a person to do. It's actually a pretty stupid thing to do as well because more and more people are starting to understand that if you have an ICO or an in initial coin offering that lasts more than 30 to 60 days, you're probably a scam. If you're guaranteeing price rises, you're definitely a scam. If you're not on coin market cap, you're not on world coin index, then you're a 95% scam, that's for sure. <laughs> and uh, if you only have an internal market, then you're like some of the big scams out there in the market. But fortunately, our members know the difference between what is real and what is fake. The DSAs are good, full, of, full of good advice on what is real and what is fake. And more and more people are starting to understand that when something smells too good to be true, it's not the smell of that you're smelling, it's the smell of, well, bullshit. <laughs> that's coming through and um, when something sounds like nonsense it's because it probably is nonsense and there's no such thing as uh, free money there's no such thing as money without effort and what's really great about Leo and especially our new products in the digital market service you've got a fantastic offer with a legitimate company behind it so there's an incredibly attractive product there but none of the fears that can come with people who are promising the world to you we're promising a fantastic product and we're a real company. We've been here for a, a good while. We're solid and established in the industry. Our direct selling associations like us, um, we know what we're doing, we're here to stay. So that's where we are right now. And we compare that to some of the scams out there promising the world based on a flimsy hope and a dream. I'm always, always reassured that our members know what the right decision is. Very good. Thank you, me here. Uh, so um, it's kind of quite cool because, I mean, the. Uh, the Leo Exchange was, was a labor of love, and it was not always an easy journey, but it's kind of the thing that gives us reality, that makes our, makes our stuff real as opposed to bullshit. Now, the China 30K tour has commenced and has started, and, and, and this is something where we are giving some, uh, some love and appreciation back to our great interest group that we have in China. Uh, we have uh, uh, these. Uh, we did a tour um, some three, six months ago, whenever it was, uh, in, in August, August 8th. And um, you know, it's actually, it feels like longer, but it wasn't so long ago. Uh, the China 888 tour has been captured and commemorated in a special edition book, which I have a copy on, on my desk, and it is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and it's, it's something that, uh, in terms of my life journey, I am so proud of having done, uh, although at the time it seemed like absolute madness to go from city to city to city over a, each 24 hours. The China 30K tour has started, and, and one of the hot items there is that people can participate by, by getting this book of ours that we, we created in, in, in Chinese style, and, and it's, it's just awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll show you some more media on that over the next week or two. But um, uh, the first one, uh, the first event happened, and it happened in the Hong Kong office, and this is always going to be our small uh, little event, because uh, in Hong Kong, uh, we have uh, a corporate office for the last four years, uh, but not so many distributors, but we filled the office up, and if you can look at the pictures there, you can see that there's an awful lot of joy and happy people which is just very very uh, just very very gratifying to see because again part of this multicultural thing da, 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 da. but not least is the lady on the right hand side of your screens there uh rachel uh, david and uh, she was poorly and she had some flu and she was coughing and she still comes there to support her people and i know that she's on this call as well so rachel fantastic to see a picture of you looking so glamorous and, and happy and, and a fantastic result in our Hong Kong office. Uh, the next one is in Chengdu, and it actually starts tomorrow uh, evening. Uh, sell out uh, tickets, and if we look at the ticket sales for this entire tour, uh, we're looking at, again, thousands of people. Uh, and um, uh, some people sort of look at that the wrong way and think, well, why are you focusing so much effort in China? Why are you putting so much uh, support into China? Well, it's because the Chinese market is important. Uh, yet others say, uh, and, and I, was, I was in Finland, and they asked me, so how are you in China? Are, are you, do you have good support in China? I said, absolutely. And, and that was reassuring for them, because any global business that not, does not uh, understand the power of China in this space haven't understood uh, the business that they're in. Uh, so very, very pleased about that. And, and we've got um, great aspirations to be uh, doing some things as a UK investor uh, into China, uh, which again, it's kind of a bit top secret, but something that uh, we'll be able to talk to you about over the next couple of months. Uh, but um, if we can come in there under the wing of the Chinese authorities and invest into China to set up uh, businesses in, in this digital space, that will be very, very, very cool. 
uh, for the next surgery. Great. So, uh, Mr. Hansen is also going to Sweden because I couldn't make the date. Uh, we're going to Africa together, uh, and I'm very, very pleased about uh, that because I, I've always felt that Africa, Africa's time is coming now. And uh, when we look at uh, where we're going to be in May at uh, the carnival, this is now an absolute sellout event. Uh, the, there, is, there are no rooms available now except for the few people that managed to squeeze in and, and get a, a room at the tail end. Um, you can share one of your multi-occupancy rooms with a downline or a, or a wife or a, or a partner. Uh, but you need to let us know about that before the 30th of November. But this is the first time in Leo's history that we've had a fully qualified out event uh, to the point that we're taking over the entire resort for the, the, week, for the week that we're there. Uh, so this is a Leo event, second to none. Uh, the best thing we've ever done, and, and it's been done by the, the Blue Leo team, and, and, and it's just come together in, in remarkable ways. Uh, so professional, such a lifestyle opportunity, uh, and this will be a life-changing event for many, many people who attend it. So uh, get jiggy with it and, and, and follow the rules and get uh, your uh, confirmation in by the 30th of November. If you wanted to use your room to, to take someone else, let us know uh, and we'll do what we can to help you there. Because the timeline now is hard and it's, it's kind of tough. Uh, we have so many things that we're delivering on now uh, that as we're going forward to our next level of business, if you like, Rules and procedures and processes, our, our business systems are going to be very important. Up until now, we've been able to be a very flexible organization. We've been able to be very uh, helpful with, with, with sort of um, presidential waves of pardon here, there, and everywhere. As we go forward into our seventh year, uh, we have launched seven different projects. We have uh, we have this sort of track record behind us, and I think that we're going to sevenfold our business as well going forward. Um, we're going to have to observe a kind of a higher level of professionalism, and that starts with you, one, monitoring the market and, and stopping hanky panky and supporting the company and protecting its business, if you like. That means that your presentations and, and, and your market communications have to be squeaky clean uh, so that we don't get the reputational impact and, and reputational problems. But you also have to be kind of our partners and policemen in the field uh, to stop people doing hanky-panky again. Uh, because as we go forward, the business will grow and it will sevenfold. And uh, the Day 7 project, uh, when you come to Mauritius and, and hear what that is, will blow your brains up. Because then we'll be uh, an embryonic banking service with the Gold Plateau, uh, the Gold Foundation, uh, we're building up accounts where stakeholders are holding weights of gold with independent third-party people, uh, and we'll be coming then just into our biggest surge of growth uh, over the next over the next year to. Uh, for those of you who are just joining us now, you have joined at just the right time when you can really feel something. So. The uh, uh, call to action is the same as ever, speak to more people, uh, get out there. Uh, you, uh, you, you go nowhere unless you speak to people. Uh, if you speak to people, you go somewhere. You'll end up with customers, you'll end up with members, you'll end up with organizations, and you'll be participating in this, this growth. Uh, the Digital Market Service, the DMS, uh, we believe that that is absolutely key at the moment because there is a zeitgeist thing, there is a timeliness to this. Uh, when taxi drivers start to ask you about things, when your neighbors start to ask you about things, when, when, when people have this awareness of Bitcoin and they want to participate but they don't know how, you have a solution to that if you can help them become members and help them get to the bronze level. Uh, we have live seminars going on all over the place, so uh, make sure uh, that you promote those and, and start to think like a global entrepreneur, start to think like an international business person because that is what you are. Uh, your home street, your home village, your home town, your, your country is your starting point for business, but it's not real business will give you the greatest returns. That is done on a multinational, multicultural basis. So uh, think global, act local, and, and you'll be extraordinary. it'll be extraordinary to see what you'll do with that. So uh, we've got some very big things happening this week in the UK. Uh, keep your eyes peeled on some announcements that will happen towards the end of the week. Uh, and you'll be astonished to where uh, uh, me and Magudia and Dan Anderson is taking your business uh, in this short period of time here in the UK. So Dan Anderson in Oxford saying thank you very much indeed. Uh, look forward to speaking to you all 
and over and out.